Dragon Ball Z card strategy here. Another local match. You might recognize uh, James here as being the other fella from our little series deck. We're, we're having a Napa on Napa competition. We had decided, to, I, I brought a Napa build, I should say, to uh, some local games, and James had been the master of the old stage drain Napa style and had uh, let it fall into not disrepair, but hadn't really taken advantage of some of the newer cards and really hadn't built it in quite some time. So he, uh, I inspired him to go ahead and rebuild this one. And I'd say he did a very good job. Okay, he's uh, gonna go going first, of course. He's got maybe the most important card in the deck. You remember this one, it was intended just for Nappa, Raditz, and Turles, the Lesser Sands. It's saying clinch. He likes what he sees well enough to be able to start a combat. Okay, he's going to go ahead and uh, attack, attack me with Napa's three stage, excuse me, three stage physical. And I have to take it because of course I drew an energy block. Okay, and I end up hitting him with a three stage physical from Napa's power, which is going to allow him just enough to be able to have me use some of those same emergencies I got in my hand. Ouch, I get hit with Napa's confidence. It does do its trick. It lowers me four stages automatically. And because I went to zero, he can then banish a setup or drill an ally that I have. But he, there's none to target, of course. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Saiyan Emergence to go ahead and cause him to lose four stages. Put him to zero since he's at zero. It's going to go ahead and place itself and rejuvenate to the bottom of the deck. Which is great. Okay, he is going to go ahead and throw a uh, Saiyan Clinch at me next. And then that's going to automatically double flat stage damage attacks. It's going to make it six power stages from a rather minor attack otherwise. Okay, I'm going to throw a second Saiyan Emergence at him. And you remember what we said? Uh, Saiyan Emergence, like you said, the, the, the stage drain damage is not damage. It, it can't be affected or, or reduced by things like endurance. So he's just going to take all those four life points. That's my go. Uh, that combat, of course, ended with a good amount of damage on both sides. Yeah, I have a, okay, here's my, my dilemma. I have two power stages. Technically, I'm stronger than him, and I have two of those cards that say, you know, if you have a higher power level than your opponent, uh, kind of effects. So, technically, I am, even though I'm very minor on it. So, I just decide to go into combat. I can't believe I'm going to, and I throw Saiyan Uppercut first, because if I were to use the uh, Saiyan Domination first, I wouldn't be stronger than him anymore. So, it would be seven power stages if it hit me. And he does stop it, and then he's going to go and gain an anger from St. Arm Catch. And he's going to go ahead and uh, throw... Oh, oh, oh. You guys know this particular one. It's a five-stage physical that can summon an ally. He would have thrown it at the wrong time when I had my Napa's physical still able, and that would have been a bad idea. You remember, because he wouldn't have been able to uh, summon an ally. I mean, he, I would destroy the next action. So he throws a... Uh, Upward kick, which is going to do uh, two life cards because remember I had two power stages, which is not going to be. There are no power stages to use that one Saiyan domination. Still do have a Saiyan smack. It's a good sized hit uh, because you remember we're in the same uh, level. You remember since we're both A to A, the base is one plus one. And then so I do two. There we go. And then remember on hit, makes him lose four stages. And again, the, the stage drain goes right through the dirt. So, James has a couple of different options open to him. He hits me with all six stages of Nappa's physical, which I'm going to be able to take with just three life cards, but only because I ran into coincidentally some large endurance. Okay, and then I throw Nappa's physical back and hit him with three life cards, and guess who just showed up? Who got damaged out just in time? There it is. So if you think about it though, that effect must be resolved first where he summons an ally from the discard pile. Remember, that must be carried out first, so that means that good old uh, Turles' effect is going to be in effect immediately. So you remember that flat stage damage, which the attack is, is 5 plus to 10, 14 total power stages because I count as the same in play as well. Uh, this particular build had one significant flaw. Because of my overall strategy, I have extraordinarily small endurance in the deck for Saiyan style. So early game, I'm taking a nearly 14 power stage or 14 life card attack. Yeah, drawing that one energy block early on definitely has caused me a lot more trouble than I should have. Okay, still 
own uh, eye pass on my action. I definitely have him critted with my small bit of anger down. And he's going to go and hit me with another sand clinch, which is going to be another six power stages plus. Yeah, no. So it's going to be three, four, five, six, twelve. Oh, I just took another 12 power stage physical. So anybody who thinks that Nappa couldn't out damage even the biggest decks should keep in mind what just happened. With virtually nothing in play to power it, he has two cards in play and then the card you play from his hand. That's all that he requires. Oh, by the way, he has just advanced a level. So he's actually able to gain anger at this point where I haven't able to gain very much of anything. Okay, that combat ends, and it's going to go ahead and go over to James. James is going to begin his next turn. Looks like he's drawn, uh, is that the third clinch? Oh, okay, well, that's an easy hand. He's going to go ahead and put Sane and Rage into place, set up, and he's going to go ahead and grab, uh, he's probably going to pass and rejuvenate Sane clinch because why, why bother putting the third one out there? Okay, he ends his turn. I start. Uh, looks like I don't get too much. Looks like I got some anger lowering, some. Uh, looks like a couple physical blocks. Why did I think to do that? What could have possessed me to go in on a hand with, with this much nothing? In it? I mean, there's physical stage. Uh, there we go. That's the thing we were talking about. How you just don't get to keep allies out very long against Nappa. So he's going to go in on auto destroy Turles. He goes to discard pile. One of the big bonuses is out of play. I haven't needed it for anything. Okay, and then uh, James has lots of different choices here. He's going to throw a 12 stage physical uh, from. Uh, let's see if Nap is Energized Strike. I stop it with uh, Attack and Cause. I stop it and cause him to lose uh, four power stages. But remember, at, at level two, every time he throws an attack, I automatically lose a power stage. So, so I, I pass. Oh, wow, that block I've been holding on to for absolutely forever. Okay, and he loses four power stages from same focus. Uh, to zero. Top zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Top zero. Okay, so that, that's it. Oh, uh, you the oh, that's right. I, I keep forgetting when he throws attacks, I automatically lose the power stage because it will kidnap his continuous effect. For ten. Wow. So. Hey, you guys remember with Saiyan Rampaging, you get to throw away that card and then, you know, it's considered to have ten endurance for the Mastery's effect. It would have been a monstrous, nearly killing blow had I not had a block in my hand at the time. I caused him to lose three life cards because that one actually allows him to be pushed below zero. Oh wow, a card got destroyed for endurance and he's able to go ahead and uh, banish. He didn't have any drills to target. That's strange. He, he does carry a few drills. Okay, combat ends. Uh, very Being fairly eventful. Oh, it's because I threw the, the uh, used the mastery to throw that particular attack, and that's what I did. Ooh, looks like he pulled out one of the newer cards, so sometimes I have to give him a look. Because I hate to say it, I under-collected the newer set, compared to other previous sets. Okay, so uh, he's not confident enough with the hand that he drew, he's going to go ahead and pass. And he only has the two cards he can work with, so I don't know. Okay, my go. And it looks like I'm going to go ahead and power up. What am I holding? Napa's confidence. Uh, it looks like a physical block and the same discovery. Uh, they're fine. They just need probably like you know, another block or attack to accentuate in order to make it more effective. Otherwise, it isn't worth going in on, and I don't know why I'm even entertaining the thought. Oh, wow. Apparently, I have absolutely no sense. I'm getting knocked the heck out of with 12 plus stage physicals, and I thought to go in on this. Yep. That's my card. I have this confidence. Okay. Destroy. Oh, wow. Okay, that must have been why I thought to go in on that, because he only had three power stages left. So I use Nappa's confidence, lower him to zero. If he hit zero, I can banish to set up a drill and play, and I do, and I get rid of his sand and rage. That was not worth it. There's two stages. Okay, he's going to go ahead and throw a Saiyan Trap at me. I lose three stages, losing one life card in the process. He's going to go ahead and raise his angle one level and shuffle in uh, a Saiyan Trap. It was not an attack, so no, I did not lose any power stages with level 2 Nappa's ability. Okay, now it's time for James to opponent. Oh, uh, wow, I attach Saiyan Discovery, get to the target, and destroy his other setup he has in play. Oh, oh. Yep, and it's going to be 
18 plus points. Sadly, I have to stop and eat over any more. And I can't drive him any below zero with a, the ball of the same style of physical blocks. It's one of their hardest limitations. No, no, I hit you with Napa physical. And I hit him with three-stage physical. I'm putting up a uh, you know a pretty strong fight despite getting just wrecked left and right. I'll just just perform a style attack so you lose a stage, and it'll be five stages. So okay, he's gonna go ahead and throw an attack with the mastery, and I take a ten-stage rim because remember it's it's a flat stage that the mastery generates, so it's pretty impressively rough. I'm starting to get a feeling for what the game creators put into this with uh, the developers, I should say. They knew it would work best with rampaging, that flat damage doubling. Ah, he's going to hit me with one last uh, Saiyan trap. He's going to raise Zango one level. I lose three life cards. I'm looking real slim there on the deck. You know, if I, this brings back a memory of looking at that level 1 Hercule card, the plus 100 stages physical attack. Well, I was thinking to myself, the way that Nap is hitting, he's like a quarter of that, but really, uh, really way up there. Oh, you are so dead. You have, uh... Oh, wow. He brought an ally out. He brought Vegeta into play. He's going to further boost his, his damage with his attacks. I which point, I was so sad. Play that, then play that. <laughs> he played his uh, power up sequence and planning and step sequence slightly out of play because, as you know, in a big tourney, you can get the hex no, score for that here. Oh, oh he hits me with a coup de gras. Uh, so, he uh, counts it up. One, it's coming in. Oh, they're all there. You remember that? I could have got the trap and emerges. Lose the stage and then. That's right. 28 power stages when I had one life card left. He'd have killed me and half the next guy. <laughs>